Hey guys, welcome back to Tools on a Budget. Um, I had a few questions on another video that I had commented on about uh, the Fiat 500L transmission and uh, how after they had replaced the clutch that it, it would not work at all. Um, because this is a DDCT, which is a dual dry clutch transmission. Um, so what that means is that it uses two uh, clutches, uh, dry ones that and it uh, alternates between them. So for the, you have your K1 clutch, which is your uh, reverse, first, third, and fifth. And you also have your K2, which is your second, fourth, and sixth gear. So uh, after, so every time you go ahead and remove the transmission, um, the dual mass flywheel does need to be reset. And then you also need to go ahead and relearn the car so that it knows where the position on the new cars, on the new um, clutches are. So, so basically you need yourself a, um, bi-directional scan tool. Um, I'm using this thing car on my, um, tablet on my iPad. Uh, it's pretty easy. All you do is, uh, find your, uh, find your make. So for this is a, this is a Fiat 500 L. Let's see if we can find it here. Okay. Fiat connecting. One second. So I'm trying it through the VIN scan. I remember guys, you do need some form of bi-directional scan tool. Um, something such as like the, D, the D8. Um, the D7 wasn't able to do it. But, um, the X tool D8 can do it. Um, the Top Don can do it. The Phoenix Plus. Uh, think most of the thing cars can do it as long as they're bi-directional. Um, at, at least the, the little bit higher price ones. I know if you get like the lower end ones, it might not have enough. Um, it might not have the special functions, which uh, you do need special functions for this. Right, we'll see right now when it goes in. It's having a little bit of trouble because I'm far away from my. Uh, uh, let's go to cancel select. Fiat 500L, I think because I'm far away from my internet, 2014, let's try the transmission control module, okay, see how it says special functions, confirm, you go into miscellaneous function, and here you could uh, go ahead and bleed your hydraulic circuit, um, so anytime you do take off the like the solenoids, and the hydraulic actuator, you need to go ahead and uh, do hydraulic um, circuit depre depressurization, sorry. And the one you're looking for is right here, um, learn clutches. So um, this routine learns uh, the contact point at, and position at which clus uh, clutches start transmitting engine torque. This procedure must be done uh, after reset of data group. So you would hit continue. K1 and K2 clutches temperature should be greater than 122 Fahrenheit. So basically, once you um, once you put it in, once you re-put the transmission in, um, the car will be drivable, but it's going to be very clunky. The, sh the, the shift points are going to be very inaccurate. Um, so basically, you just, just drive it around like that until it hits about 122 uh, degrees Fahrenheit. And you can check with this tool what temperatures they are. Basically, just go around the block once or twice, and it should reach the 122 um k20 k1 temperature is reached by accelerating and stopping uh k2 is the same but accelerating and slowing down in second gear um this does have a manual gear so like um shiftronic thing where you can go into first and second but uh i've noticed that if you just drive around the block it should be ready um so after you would do that you would just go ahead and hit continue and then you just follow the on-screen um it'll tell you what to do it's pretty simple just turn the ignition on and off 15 seconds 45 seconds and then um after that it should be ready to go you should notice a big difference and it should feel like how it's supposed to like a new clutch um so this was i, I can't remember your name sorry i'm gonna go ahead and see if i could find you and link you this video um if you have any other if you need have any questions about this uh, uh fiat 500l um just go ahead and ask me i i mean i 
I'm not the best, but I have, I've done quite, I've done at least two of these, so I do have some knowledge of how to do them. Uh, and if you have any issues or questions, you can go ahead and ask me and I'll get back to you um, as quick as I can. And um, I know this isn't usually what I do with, I usually do tour reviews. Um, just trying this new content out, see if people like it. Uh, but there you go. So basically that's all you would need to do. Um, and, li and like I was telling you, if, if you do need to remove the solenoid, which they do go bad on these quite a bit, I would I would do the hydraulic uh, circuit dep depressurization so that it, you can get all the, the clutch, um, the hydraulic clutch fluid out. Uh, this does use a Mopar, I think it's like a 75 weight. Um, so basically you could do a reset of the data group too. I would do that before um, even learning the clutches so that it would pretty much go on like on a fresh slate. Um, once again, you could do this on the $100 Think Diag. I think right now they have a special worth of Think Diag where if you uh, if you buy it, you get all the, so you get all the software for free. Um, for at least for a year, uh, and, but you do need internet access to be using it. It won't work if you don't if you're not if you don't have internet. Right now, I'm actually giving it a hotspot through my phone. But it has um, I mean, this is a cool little tool. If you have like a, it'll work on your phone too. I just like using it on my iPad. So it basically, has all your all your makes and models. It this will do most uh, most functions uh. That even like a eight hundred dollar scan tool will do, even like a fifteen hundred one. Um, it does have your AFS immobilization, has oil reset, brake. I think it has like fifteen special function um uh, quick resets. Um, but yeah, that's all. I mean, if you do need any more help with uh with your five hundred L, um, don't forget to hit me up, hit me up on the comments. I'll try to help you up, help you out as much as I can. Um, uh, yeah. Have a great day. Thank you. Don't forget, if you like this video, um, to leave a like or a comment. And then uh, if you like this, subscribe for, um, for future videos. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.